Okay, we did our four check last practice, so I'm going to have a quick review. We're red here, so the puck is in their end. The yellow thing is a puck. First player on the puck right away. Okay, F1 usually, but it could be D if D's up the ice. Second player, you're coming there, and you're ready to double team if we make contact or if they pass over to this player you're on that player and the player when they pass away from you you come out really hard okay so that's f1 and f2 or one and two number three F3, you come in and you mirror. You mirror the play, which means you're even with the puck. So the puck is there, you're there. If they were to go like this, you're even with the puck. F2 comes out, okay? Puck is here, and if they pass the puck to the wing, pass it to the wing, F3 is on the wing. The D, you do not pinch on this side. You keep pucks in, but you don't pinch, okay? They're going to have a player coming up through here, and if a player gets it, you've got to get that player, okay? Now three is there. Now, their center or low forward, you, you're also covering them if they do do a quick up. If they do do a quick up there, you're, you're covering that player. And then of course, the D would have that player, okay? Now this is one thing we noticed, we've been noticing is that we let them get out on a rim really easily. So, this player here, the D, you're, whoops, you have this player, okay? So if they rim the puck, you're on this player right away. And number three was mirroring the puck and will fill in behind you. Is this D follows like this. So we always pinch on a wide rim. We don't pinch on the strong side. We pinch on a wide rim. Now their low four is going to be coming out here for a pass. You may get a pass. Then then you've got to you've got to cover them. Okay. Now, if they do succeed in getting the puck out, all right. These forwards. Now, they succeed in getting the puck out. Uh, let's see the winger. Where it gets us going, going with the puck. Then the closest player, closest forward, you're, you're going to back pressure them. So they're skating like this. It's not a very good example because we, it was a pinch. The closest forward is going to back pressure the puck. So in other words, we're going to chase the puck and... The defenders, we're going to chase the puck. So they'll be like this with one of us chasing them. So we make a defensive two-on-one. -on -one. And as we know, most players in this league just try to go through everybody. Okay, and these players here, you come back as hard as you can. So we'll get back into our zone. Okay, we all get back into our zone. We're supposed to have six players out there. And we defend from the net out, okay, if they succeed in getting there. So everybody comes back to here. I see we have a few players that go stand waiting. The puck is here. Puck is there. So we're waiting for a pass, and they have the puck. They're not going to pass to you. You have to play. You have to play in our zone. And you have that D... That D, 
fence on this side is there. Our center, we play our center there. If they pass to here, that's our center gets that player, okay? And plays two on two with here. And they'll have another player right here or whatever. Okay? Now, make sure F3, if the puck is in deep, make sure F3 is mirroring the play. Because if we do win the puck, you're wide open here. Nobody covers you here. Don't go stand in front of the net beside their defenseman. You're wide open here, and you have all these jobs. You have to cover their center, have to go to the wing, you have to fill in here, okay? But you're in a great scoring position right here. Uh, Jordan got a great shot from there the other day when we mentioned it. So that's a little review of our forecheck.